I am Anil Kumar and now we are almost at the end of Unit 6, Trigonometric Functions. We will discuss rates of change for different trigonometric functions and as we go along we will also review what we have learned in this unit about trigonometric functions. The question here is, for the graph of the function f of x equals to 2 times cosine 4 pi x minus 3, state two points where function has an instantaneous rate of change in f of x that is 0, negative or positive, right? We can quickly answer this question but first let us look into the function itself and also see how to sketch it, right? I would like you to take this opportunity to review unit 6 and get prepared for your test. So when we say f of x equals to 2 cosine 4 pi x minus 3, we have x is at minus 3 which I will draw with a dotted line like this, correct? This is x is at minus 3, at minus 3. Amplitude of 2, that means we will go 2 steps up and 2 below. That means this will be minus 5, this will be minus 1. So quickly you can sketch like this, right? Cosine function with no phase shift means the first wave, we are just drawing one wave here to review will start from the maximum and at the maximum. Good job. Now we can actually draw uh, the coordinate axis and uh, <laughs> uh, you know see the graph how it should really look like. So since this is minus 1 my x-axis will be kind of like this. Okay. So as we have drawn we have x-axis here the y-axis is right there. This point is minus 1 that is 0 for us. This is let us say minus 3 and this is minus 5 for us. Now we need to find the points which have instantaneous rate of change as 0. So these are the points where you have a turning point, right? So for this particular function, clearly those points are these, right? Correct. Now how to find their x value? That we can get with the time period, right? So for the function 2 cos 4 pi x, k value is equals to 4 pi, right? So the time period is 2 pi by k, which is 2 pi by 4 pi. That is half, right? Pi and pi cancels and you get half. So that really means that on the x-axis, this value is half. Starting with 0, so the center will be 1 over 4, right? And this point will be 1 over 8 this point will be 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8. You see how I get it? 3 over 8. Perfect. Now, we can answer very easily all the questions. And that is how my recommendation is that you should be answering this question. Zeros. So the instantaneous rate of change is the slope. So it is going to be 0 at 1 over 4 or half or even at 0, right? So zeros are at let me write x equals to, so I'm giving you three points from this graph itself, which is 0, 1 over 4, or even at half, right? Negative value of instantaneous rate of change means the slope has to be negative. So if I draw a tangent on this side of the graph, anywhere, right, it is going to be negative. Here it is positive. Do you see that? This is positive. This is negative. So if I'm getting to write few points, I could always select ones on this side. We could also select points on the second wave, right? Periodic waves, they actually continue. Perfect. So, it is positive here and negative after half, correct? So we could write points as 3 by 8, 4 by 8, let us say this is 5 by 8, okay? So negative value of instantaneous rate of change, I could say, is at 1 by 8. For example, x equals to 1 by 8, or this side, 5 by 8. Do you see that? Like that. Positive value is on this side of the graph where it is increasing. So it is 3 by 8. Let us say x equals to 3 by 8. Or we could talk about minus 1 by 8, right? So this side of the graph or minus 1 by 8, right? So if the interval is not given to you, you're free to choose your points. But anyway, I think that gives you an idea of how to select the right points for 
instantaneous rate of change being zero, negative, or positive. Thank you.